Morning, Sully. How are you? Pretty good, man. Good. <clears throat> so let's uh, give, give us a little bit of background real quick on on yourself and Coach Walsh. Uh, how long have you guys been friends? Uh, it's probably been on the better half of seven years now um, when I got involved with Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and what was that like for you uh, when you heard the news? Obviously, that's a, that's a tough diagnosis for anybody to get, kind of a, a punch in the gut here for the Holy Spirit family, but uh, they've responded pretty well and, and have a, a, you know, a lot of things coming up to try to help out Coach Walsh. I know that's a, that's a really uh, a tough thing to go through and, and a lot of medical bills and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, you, like you said, it's a punch in the gut, but um, you know, whenever a close friend or a family member gets uh, diagnosed with something or you know something of negativity, um, I'm a lot like Walshy type A personality. We uh, get upset for about a minute and then uh, look for a way to fight it and figure out a way to uh, move forward and and beat this stuff. So. That's yeah, kind of, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, so. Th- knowing Coach Walsh and his personality, he, he seems to me like the kind of guy who, who doesn't want a lot of people, uh, you know, fretting over him, worrying about him, and you know, kind of one of those tough old ball coaches, right? Well, that's you know, that was the uh, that was the biggest obstacle in the beginning. Um, you know, accepting accepting help from people. I mean, when you're when you're a giver, when you're always giving back, and and your whole life revolves around um, instilling in children's mind and kids' minds and athletes and students to um, move forward in their lives. When something happens to you um, or somebody wants to give you a gift, it's very hard to accept. Um, and that was the biggest hurdle um, with Walshie. But um, after a couple conversations and uh, some, some tough mornings and some tough days and some, you know, t- some tough times uh, to, um, to talk about and, uh, we finally got to a point where we said, you know what, let's let's uh, let's lean on some people, and and uh, it's just been amazing, Sully. I mean, the, the support and the people that rallied behind it, and 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 uh, it, you know, it's just it's just crazy how much of an impact this guy's had on people's lives. Like, it's just incredible. That, that's the thing with a lot of high school coaches; they're kind of just there every day. You, you take for granted what they do on a daily basis, and and it's not till something like this happens where you really realize you know, how much they've impacted the lives of so many. I mean, this is a guy that's been coaching for a very long time. So, he, you know, he's coached hundreds, maybe thousands of young men in the sport of football. And, and football, more than any other sport, you really bond with these coaches and, and they, they become almost father figures to you when you're 15, 16, 17 years old. Um, talk about that a little bit and just, you know, the kind of impact he's had through the years, uh, not only on the Holy Spirit, but – South Jersey football, I mean, all the other coaches at at these high schools, they all know who Coach Walsh is, and they've come in contact with him at some point, whether it's been on the field or at a camp or something like that. You know, South Jersey football is a a very tight-knit community. Well, you know, I mean, you've been around Holy Spirit quite a bit, Sully, and and it's just from from being around there and just trying to help out and and help out the institution and stuff, and then just seeing the day-to-day process, that he instills in these kids. I mean, if you go to one of his practices, you'll want to dive off the top of the bleachers and think <laughs> that you won't get hurt. I mean, it's just it's just incre- incredible how he motivates these children and teaches them lessons. And, and you know, he, every day he has a message on the board for when those kids walk into school. I mean, walk into that weight room. And it's just, it's just incredible. And he lives it. And he loves them. And he, you know what, he just, he works them so hard but then he has his arm around them when they're when they're leaving that weight room, and there's just there's just a bond, and there's just so much energy and so much excitement and so much love that he instills in these kids. It's just it's it's unbelievable. And and like you're you're asking how you know how my relationship built with him. You know, it's all about it's all about respect as a man, right? Like you you meet people in your life, your friends come and go, and you know you have people that are special people in your life. I can tell you, Walsh, he's probably one of the top five that I can count, you know, as a, as one of my top friends. As you move and get older and in life and you move forward, I just respect that man immensely. Like, what he instills, what his whole life is about um, is special to me. And you know what? It's, it's, it's an honor to be his friend. And it's also incredible how, you know, you make a couple phone calls, you know, I... I rekindled an old friendship with with rip reynolds who i've known for about 35 years you know we rallied around a group of diverse people 
um, that are in that are handling um, certain ends of moving this forward to raise some crazy money and to facilitate the Walsh family with something that they don't have. Hopefully, they won't have to worry about the financial things moving forward. And you know what? It's incredible the attitude and the strength and the position that Bill Walsh is in right now. I mean, he's 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 has the he's going to beat this. I mean, he feels stronger. He's working out two hours a day. He's getting in what we call the spaceship every day, which is the hyperbaric <laughs> treatment with that he uh, was able to order and he has in his house now. I mean, his energy and his mental focus right now is just incredible and it's so inspiring to all of us that are involved that are rallying the you know around him it just gives us more fire and more flame it's just so exciting and, and rewarding to to be able to put him in this position of of, of where he is and that's that's how his everyday life is i mean he, he, well she doesn't want one person to feel sorry for him you know and i know that for a fact and any, anybody that knows him knows that for a fact this guy is just one of the most ins- most inspirational people I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, the life lessons that he instills in these kids, kids these, the speeches that he has after a game and during practice and, and the, the team effort that, you know, it's all about your team. It's all about doing the right things. It's all about hitting the books in the classroom. I mean, he touches everything every day, Sully. I mean, it's just, I don't, you know, I, I wanted to get on, you know, when you called me, I just, I know people know, but they really don't know. And once you spend a day with Walshy, it's over. I mean, you're a friend for life. We're talking with uh, Joe Watson, friend of Holy Spirit assistant football coach Bill Walsh, who was recently diagnosed with ALS. And uh, Joe, it's funny you mentioned the uh, the post game speeches because uh, I've been I've been on the field for a few of those, and and by the end of them, I'm usually like, Coach, man, find me some pads. I'm ready to go. <laughs> He's one of those guys that just makes you want to get out there and and uh, knock some heads and and really dive into the the whole football culture. Well, it's it's funny you say that. I mean, on <clears throat> May twentieth, uh, uh, two of his ex captains, Joe Farrow and Stephen King, um, are uh, got together and, and are organizing a flag football team. And I and I'm getting all these texts from Johnny Sell and all these ex alumni football players and this and that. Guess what? They have me convinced to get on the field. I mean, with two <laughs> hip replacements and all, to, to put the flags on and and go support something. And you know, I'll probably go off in the stretcher, but I'm going to go down <laughs> swinging. So I'll, I'll probably be on there. I'm 30 pounds overweight, but I'm going to go give it my all because that's what Walsh would want. Hey, play some QB. You won't have to run around so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. But yeah, he, he seems to me like the kind of coach where you can call up a guy who he might have coached in in 1992 and be like, hey, we need something for this event. And, and the guy will be like, you got it, man. Uh, you know, it's the, the <clears throat> checks in the mail today. You know, he, he has that kind well, of impact on, on so many people the last 20, 30 years. Well, I mean, listen, you, you see that by, you know, we don't want to talk numbers, but, you know, you see by you see that by the support that we're getting. I mean, the the the, the numbers were crazy in, in a matter of two weeks. I mean, it's, it's insane. And the people that you call, all they want to do is help. And like you said, there's people calling, and and uh, we have a couple, you know, really cool things coming up. Like I said, Joe Farrow and Stephen King orchestrated a uh, a flag football <clears throat> tournament that's going to be at um, Holy Spirit on May the 20th, um, which um, you know I spoke to them two days ago, and it, and they're expecting 160 players uh, with up to 200 players. Wow! Um, to play in this this round robin tournament, we're going to have a fun day at Holy Spirit. It's going to start at nine, you know, nine o'clock in the morning, and then uh, games going all, you know, all on, and then the finals will be at um, the finals will be on the main stadium with the speakers going off and the announcing, and and uh, you know, just another way to um, show coach, you know, the support and the love that he has. I mean, it's just overwhelming the response and and how excited people are to come and support and and do whatever do whatever it takes to keep Walshy in this in this in this mode that he's in now it's just incredible joe real quick before we let you go uh you know how's how's he handling it mentally you know his family that that's a tough uh tough diagnosis to get but like you said it, it seems like he's taking in stride and and you know the first instinct of a guy like that is hey what do i got to do to fight this well listen he he's beating it 
I mean, he's beating it. He's you know, he's going to be that five or ten percent that's that's going to beat this. I mean, there's you know maybe for seven minutes he had a little bit of a downtime and and uh, you know, but th- that's about it. And he you know he's moving forward and 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 there's there's nothing that's stopping him. I mean, he he told me uh, yesterday or the day before you know he feels stronger than he he has in a long time. I mean, he's he's the, the nutritionist and the diet he's on and. With the um, get, being able to um, u- utilize the hyperbaric treatment uh, seven days a week and getting that full oxygen treatment, which all the athletes are using now, by the way, right. um, you know, is just his his mental state, his physical state. I mean, he, he looks like a twenty five year old kid. I mean, he's all ripped up, and, and <laughs> you know, I just he's he's trying to talk me into go to the nutritionist. I said the only thing that's going to work for me is I, if I get my jaw wired shut. So. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, it's it's all positive. It's all good. It's um, you know, it's it's incredible. And like I said, um, I don't. And, you know, I didn't know if you wanted me to mention the both events. The May the twentieth is the flag football, and then you know our big our big uh, actually Walshie's fiftieth uh, birthday bash. He turns uh, fifty on June thirteenth. So you know, what could be better than to celebrate his fiftieth birthday and have a bash on on the beach at his buddy uh, Rip Reynolds' place at the Laguna Grill and. Uh, you know, I can't. I can't think of a better way to spend Father's Day. Like, I'm. I'm so excited. I'm going to go get my dad, and we're going to spend Father's Day uh, celebrating Walshie's birthday and, and 50th bash. And you know, we're going to have family and fun. It's from one to six um, on that day on the beach at the Laguna Grill. Uh, Rip Reynolds has three bands playing that day. Um, it's a. It's a twenty-five dollar donation per head, and everything goes right to the Walshie family. Rip donated everything um, as far as. Um, you know, feeding the people and uh, having the live bands. So it's just exciting. And, you know, I, I, our goal is to have 2,000 people there that day. So, um, you know, if we could do that, I, like I spoke to you and I spoke to Mike Gill about it, you guys are going to be live there during the day. Uh, I want to try to, you know, get some athletes. I spoke to Justin Williams yesterday on the way to the game last night. Uh, he's going to come. Rick Cockett's going to come. You know, get some athletes, get some friends. Um, friends of mine that never met Walshie, and and they'll they'll be off for the summer. So, you know, it's just going to be an exciting day, and and uh, the, the the team that's around um, helping make this thing, you know, uh, Mara Marzak and Glenn Ann and uh, Bill's sister Tracy, and um, and Jocelyn Allison and Rip, and and you know the whole crew. It's just it's just amazing how the team rallies together, and 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 this is going to be some uh, special event that's going to be uh, off the charts here. So. Joe, great stuff. We got to let you go, but we we really appreciate you taking a few minutes, and uh, we're looking forward to those events coming up. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Ellis. All right, that was Joe Watson, a friend of Holy Spirit assistant football coach Bill Walsh. So a lot of great stuff coming up. We'll keep you informed on that.